Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutitude. In this session, we will study the bridge problems. Okay. So the calculation of bridge. Okay. Whenever you have a bridge, the calculations will become little bit tricky. Okay. So we have to understand the bridge problems separately. So that's why I have modeled all the type of bridge problems where you will confuse. Okay. So those things at a time. Okay. We will learn. Okay. In this session. Okay. So let's look at this network. Is this a, whenever you feel that is a bridge problem, you have to check once. Understood, right? You have to check once whether that is a bridge or not first. Okay. So remember the basic thing. What we have, what we have to do is, for example, some circuits will be there. We have seen in our previous class. Okay. So some circuits will be there which look like some bridge network only, but that is not a bridge network. We have seen some parallel network, okay, which looks like bridge network. So whenever you see some bridge type of problem, they may be looking like a bridge problem, but we have to see whether that is really bridge problem or parallel parallel circuit problem, okay. So what we have to do is we have to check the nodes, okay. So between two nodes, the element has to be connected in the middle. Between other two nodes some terminals has to be connected otherwise a source has to be connected understood right so between two terminals the element has to be connected okay otherwise there may be short circuit anything okay like that and remaining two terminals there may be terminals connected remaining two nodes there may be terminals connected otherwise some source has been connected that type of thing only the bridge connection now tell me is this a bridge connection yes definitely it is a bridge connection because between these two nodes there is resistance connected between other two nodes there is terminals connected understood right so like that this is a bridge network now first thing we have confirmed this one as the bridge once you have confirmed you have to see whether that bridge is balanced or unbalanced understood right you have to see that is balanced or unbalanced bridge okay so how you have to check means just see okay so this resistance into this resistance values okay so 3 into 3 okay equal to you have to write okay just see 3 into 3 equal to this one okay these two we have to multiply 3 into 3 so this satisfied so when it's satisfied that means the bridge got balanced okay what happens when bridge get balanced tell me what happens when bridge get balanced when bridge got balanced there will not be any current going inside this middle element understood right there will not be any current going inside that middle element that means no current is going inside no current is going inside when no current means what is the resistance of that path leave about this question okay leave about this question in some circuit there is no current going inside means what is the resistance of that one that is no current means high resistance infinity resistance understood right that means here no current is going inside this middle element that means this middle element is acting as infinity resistance understood right this middle element is acting like infinity resistance that means infinity resistance means open circuit or short circuit it is virtually open circuit understood right maybe there is 3 ohms resistance but it is acting like open circuit no current is going okay so whatever current we are getting here same current is going through the other side understood right in this 3 ohms whatever be the current same current is going in this 3 ohms that means this 3 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series understood right whenever bridge got balanced no current is going inside when no current is going inside this 3 ohms and this 3 ohms are connected in series understood right not only this side other side 3 ohms and 3 ohms are also connected in series okay just we have to remodel the network just see okay redraw that network between the terminal c and b 3 and 3 connected in series, you will get 6 ohms and here 3 and 3 connected in series, you will get 6 ohms, okay. Now between the terminals A and B. If 6 and 6 ohms are there, if you calculate the equivalent, what is the equivalent? Tell me, 6, same resistances of same values, okay, resistances of same values are connected in parallel. So what you will get? 
R A B equal to 6 by 2. That is 3 ohms. Understood right? R A B equal to 3 ohms. This is simple problem. Okay, no need to worry. They will not give any much difficult problems in the bridge circuits. Okay, only tricky problems they will ask. Okay, so answers you have to you have to know the procedure how to answer this type of questions. Okay, so first we will start with small problems only. Later we will understand. Okay, whenever theorems will come. Okay, so from that point you will understand even more difficult difficult problems. Okay, so because my intention is you have to get all the basics. Okay all the basics clearly so once you got all these things from the theorems okay you will pick up everything okay so all the type of problems you will understand clearly okay without any doubts okay understood right so this is the problem okay so next problem so this is the problem they have given okay so same as the previous problem but but in the middle instead of 3 ohms we have a short circuit okay so for this problem we have to calculate the equivalent resistance between the terminals a and b that means r a b we have to calculate so remember every time what we have to see whether that is a bridge network or not first okay remember this one okay whether that is really a bridge problem or not okay so okay so now between these two terminals okay terminals have been connected between these two okay element or some short circuit something is connected understood right something is connected so that is a bridge network between two some source otherwise net terminals have been connected between other two short circuit is connected understood right this is a bridge network Understood right? So once it is a bridge network, we have to see whether the bridge is balanced or unbalanced. Understood right? We have to see whether that is balanced or unbalanced. That means 3 into 3, that is 9. Okay. So equal to 3 into 3. Understood right? This 3 into 3 equal to 3 into 3. 9 equal to 9 we know already. Okay. So that means bridge got balanced. Once bridge got balanced, once bridge got balanced, what is the current going inside? We can take that one as zero. No current can flow into the middle element. Once bridge got balanced, no current will flow in the, in the middle element. Understood, right? No current means this is virtually acting as open circuit. Understood, right? You have seen correct only this short circuit is virtually acting as open circuit. Understood, right? That means whatever current is going in this 3 ohms, same current is going in this 3 ohms. No current is going through the middle element. Understood, right? KCL satisfies here, okay? Because same current, whatever current is coming, same current is leaving at this node. Zero current is going into that middle element. Understood, right? Now, this 3 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series. And similarly, 3 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series. Okay? So, just if you redraw the network between the terminals A and B, that will be 6 ohms and 6 ohms. Okay? Directly, if you, if you take like that, you will get answer as 3 ohms. Okay? So, R A B equal to 3 ohms. Okay? Just calculate. 6 ohms and 6 ohms are connected in parallel, you will get 3 ohms, okay? So, like this, you have to solve this problem. Understood, right? Like this, you have to solve this problem. But, okay, but see, I will solve in some other method. You just think, okay, whether there is correct method or not. I will just solve this one in some other method. You just think that is correct or wrong method, okay? So, now, okay, direct short circuit is present between these two terminals. Okay, be between these two nodes, okay, direct short circuit is present. That means 3 and 3 connected in parallel and this 3 and 3 connected in parallel, okay. So, let me redraw the network. A is here, 3 in parallel with 3 is 1.5 ohms. After that, here 3 in, three, 3 in parallel with 3 means that's also 1.5 ohms between the terminals A and B. Now, 1.5 and 1.5 are connected in series. Once these two are connected in series, you will get the resistance between A and B as 3 ohms. Same answer. Understood, right? Same answer I got. Now tell me, is this method correct whatever I have did? Just think, okay? Just think, is this method correct? We have to think like this. This is a bridge problem. Okay? This is a bridge problem. First, we have to check that is bridge or not. Whether is there any current inside or not. 
Understood right? There is no current going inside. Then how we can consider this node equal to this node? That means direct short circuit is present. We can merge these two. That is wrong. Okay. So whatever I have did here, you may get the correct answer. But this procedure is wrong. Okay. For this question, you may get the correct answer. Okay. Later I will give you the other questions also where you will get the wrong answer. Understood right? So you should not do like this. That's why I have mentioned here. Understood right? This method, whatever I have did now, okay, that is wrong. You may get the same answer sometimes. That means you should not conclude any time, any, any method you can perform, okay, that is wrong. Understood right? Only like bridge. First we have to check the bridge. Later, whether the bridge is balanced or not, that means if balanced, is there any current inside? No current because it is balanced, okay. So later we have to see series connection, series connection. After that, parallel, you have to get the answer, okay. That is the actual procedure, okay. So that's how we have to solve this problem, okay. So now next problem. So next problem is this, okay. So I have taken the similar type of problems where you will understand much of the concepts, okay. Concept you will get clearly, okay. With a small change in problem, you will get one by one difficulty, okay. That's why, okay. So for this problem, I have to calculate RAB. RAB I have to calculate. Now tell me, whenever you see directly, okay, whenever you see directly this one, now what you have to see, whether this is a bridge network or not, okay, you just think, okay, whether it is bridge network or not, okay, we have confirmed this is bridge network, okay, two terminals here and between other terminals, short circuit is present, okay, so this is a bridge, okay, now we have to check whether this bridge is balanced or unbalanced, okay, so now 6 into 3, 18 okay equal to 6 into 3 18 okay so 18 equal to 18 so that is bridge is balanced okay once bridge got balanced is there any current inside is there any current inside no current is going inside once no current is going inside 6 and 6 are connected in series and similarly 3 and 3 are connected in series okay so you have to redraw the network between the terminal c and b 6 and 6 connected in series that is 12 and 3 and 3 connected in series that is 6 ohms okay so 12 ohms and 6 ohms connected between the terminals a and b in parallel okay so equivalent if you calculate okay r a b equal to 12 into 6 divided by 18 okay so 12 into 6 divided by 18 6 ohms 6 threes okay so you will get 4 ohms okay r a b equal to 4 ohms you got. Understood right? We got RAB equal to 4 ohms. Okay. This is the correct answer for this problem. Understood right? Correct method also. So let's try in some other method. Okay. That whatever wrong method I have suggested at that time. Okay. Let's try in that method. Whether you will get the same answer or not. Just try. Okay. So if you think this has the short circuit directly. 6 in parallel with 3. 6 in parallel with 3. What is 6 in parallel with 3? Three, 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 that is 9. Okay. So 9, one, 3 ones, 3 threes. Okay. You will get 2. Again here also 2. If you redraw the network, 2 ohms and 2 ohms. Okay. You got AB. That means RAB equal to 4 ohms. Directly you got 4 ohms. Same option, same answer right. Yes or no? Same answer. Method is wrong. Understood, right? Method is wrong. If you are preparing for engineering services, there you have to write in conventional. If you do this one, immediately they will not check your paper. Understood, right? So one mistake is enough. Okay, if you don't know the question, you should not write that question. If you have written that something like this, this is a wrong procedure. Okay, if you do like that, this type of mistakes in networks, then they will not correct your paper also. Okay, that is blunder mistake. That's what. Understood right? You should not do like this. You may get the correct answer, but that is a wrong procedure. Understood right? So let's try some other question, okay? So for that question, you may get the correct answer or not. Okay? So I have given one more question here. And tell me this question, this question, for this question, first we have to see whether the whether it is a bridge or not. Okay? Just see this one, whether it is a bridge or not. It is a bridge because between these two terminals, some short circuit is connected. Between other two terminals, okay, some source, otherwise, some terminals has been connected, okay, some target terminals has been connected. Understood, right? Now, see, once it is a bridge, we have to consider 
whether it is a balanced bridge or not a balanced bridge. Understood, right? Now see, 3 into 3, 9, 6 into 3, 6 into 3, 18. Now tell me, is this a balanced one? Is this a balanced one? Tell me. 3 into 3 is 9. Okay. So 3 into 3 equal to 6 into 3. How this is? Uh, this is not possible. Okay. Not equal. So once this is not equal, bridge is balanced or unbalanced? It is unbalanced. Once bridge got unbalanced, will there be any current inside? Will there be any current going inside? Yes, there is some current inside, okay? We don't know what is that current, but there is some current going inside. Once the current is going from this node to this node, we can consider there is no element in between, so we can take this one as the same node. Understanding, right? Bridge got unbalanced here. Once unbalanced, there is some current going inside that middle element. Middle element or short circuit, anything, okay? From one node to another node, there is some current going inside. When once that current is going, we can take these two nodes as same node and we can redraw the network between the terminals like this, okay? Just this has the 3 ohms and this has the 6 ohms, okay? And here we have to consider as this has the 3 ohms and other one also like 3 ohms, okay? So between the terminals A and B. Now 6 in parallel with the 3, you will get 2 ohms, okay? Always remember these values, okay? Because in the exams, in the exam, how they will give the values means 3 and 6, okay? So like 4 and 8, 4 and 12, like this, same values only they will give every time, okay? So 1 and 1, okay? Just like 10 and 20, like that. Same calculatable values only they will give here, okay? Always remember 3 and 6 combination, they will give. Understood, right? So, 3 in parallel with 6, what is the equivalent? You will get 2 ohms, okay? 2 ohms. 3 in parallel with 3, you will get 1.5, okay? So, if you take the equivalent, you will get like 3 ohms, uh, 2 ohms, okay? So, 2 ohms in series with 1.5 ohms, okay? So, 2 ohms in parallel with, in series with 1.5 ohms, you will get 3.5, okay, 3.5 ohms, you got the answer as RAB, understood right, this is the answer, okay, RAB equal to 3.5 ohms, so this is the correct answer and the correct procedure, okay, so let's try this problem in other way, okay, in other way, understood right, in other way, that means directly if you take, no need to consider as bridge, no need to consider as bridge, okay? Directly if you take also, okay, short circuit is there, okay, directly you will get 2 ohms in series with 1.5, directly you will get 3.5, okay? But wrong processor, okay? We have to first think, okay? We have to first confirm whether this is bridge or not, after that, whether this is a balanced bridge or not, Directly if you take like that, if you write any conventional, in SSCJE if you have the conventional, okay. So at that time, without mentioning whether this is a bridge or not, if you do the problem, then directly they will not give marks for this question. Understood, right? So in conventional, you should not mention, okay, this type of problem, okay. So and let's see the next problem. So next problem is this one. Okay, now we have the bridge, for this problem also, we have to calculate the resistance between the terminals A and B. Okay, between the terminals, we have to calculate the resistance R, A, B. Okay, now just check this problem is bridge or not first. Okay, we have seen many things. Okay, this is a bridge. Okay, this is a bridge. Whether this bridge is balanced or unbalanced. Just second thing, okay. First thing, bridge or not. Second thing, balanced or unbalanced. Okay, so now. 6 into 2, 12, okay, equal to 3 into 4, 3 into 4, 12, okay, so 6 into 2 equal to 3 into 4, that means the 12 equal to 12, so the bridge got balanced, okay, this expression is correct, okay, bridge got balanced, once bridge is balanced, once bridge is balanced, what is the current going inside? 
Tell me what is the current going inside? 0 amperes. 0 amperes. That means uh, this 3 ohms is acting like open circuit. Virtually it is acting like open circuit. Okay. So now no current is going inside means 6 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series. Similarly, 4 ohms and 2 ohms are connected in series. Okay. So if you take the equivalent network between these two, 6 and 3 in series, you will get 9 ohms and 4 and 2 connected in series, you will get 6 ohms. Okay. So between the terminals A and B connected in parallel. Okay. So now what is R equivalent? R equivalent equal to 9 into 6 divided by 15. Okay. 9 into 6. Okay. So 9 into 6 divided by 16. 15. T3s, 3 5s, okay. 18 divided by 5, okay. So, R equivalent equal to 18 divided by 5 ohms, okay. That is how we have to solve this type of problems. So, remember every time, okay, bridge are not balanced or unbalanced, okay. Later on, same procedure we have to follow for every question, okay. So, let us solve one more question on this. So, this is the final model, okay, final model I have given. So, now tell me, this is bridge or not, okay, okay, we have seen many things, right. So, directly we can see and tell this one, a bridge network. Now, tell me, this is balanced or unbalanced, 3 into 3 is 9, okay, 3 into 6 is 18, 9 equal to 18, okay, possible, not at all possible, right, okay. Once it is not possible, then definitely, we have to see, okay, whether any possibility is there for other calculations, okay. So, 3 into 3 is not equal to 3 into 6. So, it is unbalanced bridge. Okay, unbalanced bridge. Once it is unbalanced bridge, there is no other way to solve, okay. We have to convert some delta network into star, otherwise star network into delta, okay. So, just see, I will explain. This is a star connection, right? If you convert that star connection into delta connection, here you will get one resistance, here you will get one resistance, and one more from here to here, you will get one more resistance. Understood, right? Like that, you can convert. Otherwise, okay? Otherwise, you can convert like, this is the delta we have. This delta we can convert as star. Understood, right? Once you convert into star, here you will get one resistance, here you will get one resistance, here you will get one resistance, okay. After that, these two connected in series, these two connected in series, and this one will be there at the end, okay. So, you have to cal calculate the values of that resistances and equivalent resistance, okay. I will do in that next method, second method, okay. So, let us solve this one. This is unbalanced bridge we have, okay. So, I just want to convert this one. So, 3 ohms, 3 ohms, and 3 ohms are in delta, what are the values in star? Okay, just calculate. What is this value of resistance? 3 into 3 divided by 3 plus 3 plus 3. Delta to star, okay. Delta to star, 3 into 3 divided by 3 plus 3 plus 3. So, what we will get? 1 ohm we will get. Understood, right? Once all the resistors in delta are 3 ohms, what are the resistances in star connection? This is one previous question. So, directly in the statement, they will not give the delta connection and ask star, okay. Like that, they will never ask directly, okay. In the statement, they will ask. Understood, right? Statement, they will give. The resistances in delta network are 3 ohms, 3 ohms and 3 ohms. What are the resistances in star network? That is, answer is 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, okay. If all are 3 ohms, then you will get 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, okay. Let us redraw this network between the terminals A and B. Okay, we have 6 ohms here and we have 3 ohms here and once the delta has been converted into star, okay, so you will get 1 ohm, 1 ohm and one more we have to connect, that is also 1 ohm, okay, like this. Understood, right? So, now tell me 3 ohms and 1 ohm are connected in series and 6 ohms and 1 ohm are also connected in series, okay. So, 4 and 7 are connected in parallel. 
4 and 7 are connected in parallel. If you take the equivalent, you will get like, okay. So, you will get like a single resistance as 4 into 7 divided by 4 plus 7, okay. Between the terminals A and B and one more resistance of 1 ohm is there, okay. So, this is the resistance, okay. Now, these two are connected in series, right? So, we have to add these two. So, RAB equal to, RAB equal to 1 plus, okay, 28 by 11, okay. 28 by 11. Okay. If you simplify again, just you can calculate, otherwise you can leave, okay. So, 11 plus 28 divided by 11, okay. So, 39 by 11, okay. Ohms. RAB equal to 39 by 11 ohms. Understood, right? Like this, we have to see the bridge problems, okay? So, correct procedure only we have to follow whether the bridge is balanced or unbalanced, okay? So, first thing, remember whether that is bridge or not, okay? First type of mistake there only you will do, okay? And second, whether that is balanced or unbalanced. And remember, if it is balanced, no current is going inside. Once no current means it is acting like open circuit. Understood, right? So, like this, we have to solve the problem, okay? Here you may get one, get one idea here. Instead of converting this delta, can we convert this delta? We can convert, there is no problem. Understood, right? You can convert this delta and check the answer, you will get the same thing. Understood, right? Otherwise, can we convert this star connection into delta connection? See, this is the middle element, middle element, that means neutral in the star network. First one, second one, and third one, okay? You can convert this star into delta. You will get the answer, okay? Again, this one also you can change. This is the star 1, 2, 3, okay? Three elements are connected here. 6 ohms, 3 ohms, and 3 ohms, okay? You can convert that and get the answer, okay? So, if you have the, if you have to, if you get any doubt on these things, okay? Just try once, you will get, okay? Must write. Otherwise, you can just follow the same procedure, okay? Why I have taken this one means 3 ohms, 3 ohms, 3 ohms. It's easy to calculate. That's why I have explained with that, okay? Understood, right? That's how you have to think the bridge problems, okay? So, these are the different type of bridge problems we have discussed, okay? So, like whether the bridge is balanced or unbalanced, inside short circuit is there, otherwise some element is there. Even with element, unbalanced. Without element, unbalanced. Those things we have to see, okay? So, this is how all the bridge problems we have to understand, okay? So, after this, we have to... We have to analyze the network using some methods like mesh analysis okay nodal analysis is there some different methods also there after that we will see those things in the next session okay thank you so much